Do you have to pay bribes to Philippines immigration? This is, this is quite an amusing one for me because I was a bit green back in 2007 on my first trip. Uh, I was a tourist at the time. Um, I, I remember Cebu uh, in Mandawi. Mandawi's uh, immigration office going upstairs and the guy asking for X amount and I gave him 1,500 pesos the first trip because I wasn't aware of the sister by that time. Um, and I was only there on a short trip, that one. So I was just like, okay, well, like 20 quid, I'm not really going to lose any sleep over it. And I sat watching TV while I went and processed my documents and brought them back. Uh, back then it was a lot more laborious than it is today. Uh, but the next trip, what I thought is, right, I'm not giving anybody any money. That 20 quid is mine. We'll go for dinner. And they started the ticket system. Because if you slow, it, slow the system down, people want to pay for corruption. Because they want to skip the queue. But if we slow down on purpose, um, so that they generate that extra cash, it sort of becomes the snake eating itself. Because you're paying a bribe to jump the queue, yet they create the queue so you will jump the queue. <laughs> so I just, just decided to get my ticket put my paperwork in and then go for lunch and what had happened to come back problem solved paperwork's done off I go nobody was bothering me um, and that just, basically that's just it you know you don't have to pay any bribes what I find though is a lot of people have the expectation of paying bribes um, and that's where the problems come in because if you're expecting to uh, to do it, there's plenty of people there that will take your money. And uh, they, I know they keep telling us that they're stopping it all and anti this, anti that. But the corruption is so embedded in the, the system, it ain't going anywhere. Um, you'd have to you'd have to get rid of half the staff. But the thing is, you don't have to do it. And it, and if you go by the book. There's not a lot they can do about it because you can phone a corruption helpline. You can do because if you're doing it by the book, because a lot you got to remember a lot of this corruption that they do is based on the fact. A like where I sat watching the TV, I was basically just jumping the queue because while people were sitting down there waiting for the next few hours, um, I watched TV and the guy brought it back to me within half an hour. Um, but the next time, instead of me sitting downstairs, I went off to the shopping mall. I didn't jump the queue, it's not corruption, it's just a bit of common sense. It's like, why well, am I sitting here when I can go and have something to eat? Um, but if you encourage corruption, it's there, but you don't have to get involved in it. Um, it I know people have had problems with their uh, residences, but I'm not sure if so, how much of it's self-inflicted. I don't know what people are actually doing, because I had no problems, I just went there give my documents, come back two months later, pick them up. That was it. There was no no big process or anything. There was no headaches. So I'm not sure what people are actually doing to get refused or getting told that they have to pay extra. If, that, if you're getting told to pay extra and there's no receipts for it, ask for the receipts because they have to issue them by law. And if they don't want to issue them, get them to give you your money back because they're not legally allowed to do it. Um, they're not going to throw you in jail because they've stole your money. They're going to give you the bloody money back. Um, so I just wanted to say this. You don't have to get involved in the corruption on it. People do. People do it because um, sometimes they need something done that day. Um, the most interesting one I find is this one where uh, this affects Filipinos. They, they're told they can't. Uh, get clear is to go abroad because somebody with the same name the exact same name is wanted in Saudi Arabia or somewhere else so they can't travel abroad but if you pay a small fee um, it can get sorted it's rather convenient but it's at least 16 people I know that's happened to which tells me that it's um, unlikely to be true or if it is true it's nowhere near the amount of people they're talking about it's a good excuse though Alright, thanks for watching.